as we all hold our breath for America for what will be a glorious win by Trump, of course, I wanted to bring you a quick update from the UK. Not only did I have a stalker on my plane home who sold a video and pictures of me maskless to the press, um, but I also have been hunted down, it seemed, by the government who now want to lock down British citizens. So as from Thursday in England, there will be a complete draconian lockdown. Everything will close, all bars, all restaurants, all shops. Uh, anything fun and uplifting like gyms or garden centres will have to be shut down as well. Basically, if there was life in it, Boris Johnson hopes to snuff it out. And for small businesses who just about survived the last lockdown, they will not endure this. Boris Johnson has really turned out to be more disappointing than perhaps my first wedding, and honestly, that lasted less than a year. It's surprising to me that so many politicians are willing to inflict this amount of pain on so many great British families right before Christmas. I have a suggestion for them, the little bloated horror shows in their nasty cheap shirts. My suggestion to you, MPs, is why don't you share in the pain with us? Tell you what, you give up your salary, you give up your perks, you give up your expenses, you give up the m money you take in to pay this second mortgage on your second home that you intend to sell for a profit after. You take the pain of lockdown before you vote for it and then see how you want to vote. Because that's the problem right now. We have fat, bloated politicians making decisions that don't impact them at all. Until lockdown starts to impact on the grossly inflated public sector, lockdown will continue to happen. And let's remember, of course, it's not bright and sunny out there anymore. It's now grey and gloomy and grim. People need something to hold on to. People need hope. And I'm here to bring it. I'm here to remind people that just because some people who are living beyond their life expectancy might die from covid you won't. Statistically, it's just people over the age of 83 who have pre-existing medical conditions. We don't need to be locked down. The government are choosing to lock us down to crucify our economy and put themselves in a greater degree of power. And of course, most of us would choose to take the risk, own our own risk, make our own choices and live our life free. So I say to all of you, go live your life as best you please. Go do what you wish with whom you want. Smother up against each other, kiss each other, smear yourself up against others if you can. Because frankly, this whole lockdown is a load of old bollocks. And until politicians are willing to share in the pain, then who are they to tell us what to do?